So there's some options that we have as far as treating the hyperthyroidism. Most of my clients opt to treat the condition medically. This means giving the kitty an antithyroid medication twice a day for the rest of its life. Now, most of the cats do fine on this medication, but like Marissa's cat, some of them can get some side effects. Usually, if side effects occur, what we can see is vomiting, not eating well, decreased appetite, um, oftentimes um, an itchy rash up around the head, the face, or the neck, or like in Marissa's cat, we can see lethargy too. If a kitty is having trouble with the medication, sometimes we can get the cat to tolerate the medicine if we cut back and we start at a very low dose of the antithyroid medication and very slowly increase that dosage. Sometimes we can avoid side effects that way. Another thing that we can try is that we can get the antithyroid medication compounded into a gel. It's called a transdermal gel, meaning that you put it on the inside of the cat's ear and that gets absorbed through the skin and enters the bloodstream that way. By bypassing the stomach, sometimes we can avoid some of the gastrointestinal upsets and other side effects that we see from it. Another option is a newer diet that's come out on the market. It is called YD and what it is is a low iodine diet. Iodine is, is important in making the thyroid hormones and so if we decrease the iodine that's available to the kitty, they can't make as much of the thyroid hormone and therefore we shouldn't see the hyperthyroid symptoms. I'm not a big fan of this diet. Uh, even though the iodine is very low in the diet, there might not be enough iodine that the kitty needs for other functions in the body. So the long-term effects of this haven't really been studied eff effectively, I believe, and so I usually use this diet only as a last resort. In addition, the antithyroid medication and the therapeutic diets are not solving their problem. They're not curing the hyperthyroidism. They're just kind of masking the symptoms and they're not allowing that tumor to produce more thyroid hormone.